Hey folks, Rye Guy here. After opening this heater for the oil pan, it's kind of like a fun project. I already previously pulled the oil pan cover off here. So this is just five bolts, no big deal. Look at that, that heater fits perfectly. That's crazy. Looks to be about my best bet. Now I need to go. Now we need to remove all the paint. Let's get ready for that. See how this goes. A couple brown scotch brake pads. Yeah, and in the directions they clearly, you know, want you to. I don't think running the cord that way would be any good towards the drive shaft. We'll run it this way towards the battery area. Now we need to clean all this paint off. Oh, it's not gonna be fun. come back when I'm finished looking pretty good <clears throat> let's go ahead and put a brand new scratch pad on so directions want it a little rough That's looking wonderful. How are we looking? That's looking good. That's looking good. Let's just see if we can. That's probably overkill by now. I'm sure, that's better what most people would do. All right, next up, we're gonna have to clean this. So uh, I'm gonna go get a little alcohol wipe and wash my hands. Clean it. Nice elf. 
the hallway. And we'll flip it around. And once again, that's probably plenty enough. Fan fanning. Yep. Keeping a stash of clean paper towels in my toolbox at all times is my secret to staying healthy. Keep your hands clean. That's how doctors stay clean, healthy. Keep them clean. All right, now we need to run the engine and get this oil pan to 100 plus degrees. installation area to remove any dirt, grease, or oil. A pressure washer works great for this. Grind or sand all paint from the surface area, slightly larger than the heater. Do not polish the surface. A coarsely scratched surface is best. Heater must be placed on a metal surface. Use acetone, lacquer, thinner, or a similar agent to wipe the area clean. If these recommend Recommended cleaners are not available. Use a strong detergent scrubbed by a thorough fresh water rinse and towel dry is acceptable. The surface must be absolutely clean. Do not use gasoline solvents, spray, penetrance, diesel fuel, or any product that leaves an oily film. Do not cut or trim heater. Remove the protective covering from the pressure sensitive adhesive. Avoid touching the adhesive. Decide which direction you want the cord to go. Plug in the pad for three to five seconds to warm the adhesive. Warning, the pad will become very hot if plugged in any longer and may burn exposed skin or damage heater. Unplug pad before applying to metal surface. Place the edge opposite the cord 
on the clean surface. With a squeegee supplied in kit, apply maximum pressure as you affix the pad. Carefully avoid wrinkles, creases, smooth the entire pad to the surface. Attach the first length of AC cord with a cord tie supplied in kit. This prevents the weight of the cord from pulling down on the pad. Plug the heater in for five to 10 seconds. Unplug and squeeze the pad again. Do this twice. Apply a small bead of high temperature silicone adhesive supplied in kit around the outside edge of the heating pad. Do not force the silicone adhesive under the pad. It is important to seal the entire perimeter of the pad for weatherproofing. Do not use any other adhesives to apply pad to metal surface. Throughout the entire rest of the AC cord to the convenient location such as through the grill, avoid any moving or high temperature parts. Position the power cord so it is held snugly against the oil pan. Use additional plastic ties for scoring the routing the power cord. Keep all non-metal surfaces such as plastic, oil pan covers, noise suppressors, rock guards, fiberglass shrouds away from the heater to avoid melting, warping, or fire hazard. The engine can be run and the vehicle driven immediately after installation. Please allow 24 hours before first heater use. All right, the surface is clean, dry. We know which way we're going. Need my squeegee. Supplied squeegee. With three to five seconds. Then we need a zip tie. I have a bucket of them. Bucket of zip ties. Extra drinks tonight? Is that going to be going up there? So we'll put a little zip tie right here. Alright, how about this one? Brake line. Carefully remove the pressure sensitive adhesive. Look at that stuff. Three to five seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. That hot. Oh my god, that thing is cranking hot. It is absolutely cranking. Oh my god, that thing is hot.
plug in for another eight ten seconds one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi four Mississippi five Mississippi six Mississippi seven Mississippi eight Mississippi ten Mississippi nine Mississippi I was just messing with you that thing gets piping hot Woo. Yep, so if this is you using one of these things, I don't think you need to keep it plugged in more than a half hour. Can't be long. Have to read the directions more. The direction says it tie this cord up all the way. Pull them down on us. Hot. That is hot. I think we're at the point now where I'm not gonna be able to do any better. I think we're gonna have to go to the next step. Looking pretty good. Let's see what it looks like on my screen here. Come on, Mr. Screen. cover off.
We'll just balance that right there. We'll just hope for the best. Any ouchies in the way? Come on. All right. I'm gonna just have the, I normally do this anyway, when I do the uh, PTO kit. I'll take this cover out too. Now I have plenty of room. Ooh, it's gonna be hot down there. Right up with those wires. Right with those wires. All right, all right, all right. And this is something I normally do too when I build the PTOs. Get this cover right out your way. Three pine tree nuts. Piece of cake. I think we can yeah, we can hop right in there. Well, don't tell me running why I try to find the closest factory wire harness and bug along. Ooh, that's looking good. Right up there. Right up there. Let's just pull through there. <clears throat> that should begin to zip tight right up here. Let's get, this, let's get these parts back. It would be nice if the mechanic down the road that might ever have to take this off. Come on. Pushing that little bracket forward a little. I don't know. Holes right there. No, and there it is. Got it. That one was a little loose. That one. That one unscrewed right away. Somehow we're gonna have to get that to look good. Maybe the other way I go this way. And down and out. Oh, that's gonna be the fun part, is figuring out where we're gonna put the rest of that wire. 